Hey everybody, today I've got a quick tip for you. If you've got a drummer that maybe isn't hitting as hard as you would like or as consistently as you would like, this will help give you a nice fundamental note to blend into his snare drum or kick drum channel and help out with uh, some presence. So first of all, we are going to go over to our monitor section here and press view and we're gonna tab over to oscillator now in the oscillator, we're going to set the type to a sine wave, and we're gonna assign the oscillator to a free bus that we have. In this instance, I have bus 16 open that isn't being used for an ear mix, in ear mix or anything like that. We're gonna check out bus 16 and make sure that it's not going to our main system by pressing or depressing the main stereo button. And make sure it's not going to our monitor center channel if we're using that for our sub system. And then we're going to grab a free channel. I have channel 18 free. We're going to select that, go to home, tab over to config. And in our source area here, we're going to tell channel 18 that it's sourcing from bus 16. And that's the bus that we assigned our oscillator to. And then we're going to take a look at our gate on channel 18. We're going to tell channel 18 that its gate source is channel 2, which is our snare drum. So now when the gate is opening, it's going to open as the snare drum is being hit. And then we can go back over to our monitor section, back over to our oscillator section. And we can press generate. Again, I like to see about negative 18 dB on the meter there. So now we see that we have a sine wave. I have it around 158 hertz. We have a sine wave being generated there. But we don't hear anything yet. So we're going to play some drums as if we were at a live show with a drummer playing. And now we're going to take a look at the gate on channel 18 and you'll notice it's opening very very briefly as the snare drum is hitting. And we're going to bring up channel 18 and you hear that low fundamental note that just sounds like a nice tubby snare drum. We're fortunate today that we have some good drum tracks and a good drummer. But if we had a less than desirable drummer, we could blend in this oscillator note and really help inform the audience where that snare drum is at. Now, conversely, we could do our kick drum. So we'll go back over to our oscillator in the monitor section. We'll change the frequency down to something like maybe 65, 63 hertz. We'll go back over to channel 18's gate and we'll tell the gate to source from the channel 1 kick drum channel. Now the gate is opening each time the kick drum is hit. So we'll bring in our drums and we'll slowly blend in our oscillator. We're gonna have to lower that. That's all you need to do, guys. Hope that was helpful. Why don't you go ahead and give it a chance at your next gig. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.